This is a video on how I have hooked my 2021 F-150 Platinum Power Boost up to my trailer, which has 30 amp service so that I can actually charge it as I'm going down the road. So if we look here at my trailer connection, and yours could very well be different. On mine, I have a 30 amp Furion receptacle here and you can see that this is basically the way it looks it's got the uh, the male and here and then I have this cord that came with the trailer and the cord has that end on it and you can basically plug in and uh, then you screw that on and then you have this end that you can plug into a 30 amp connection at an RV park. I have a little pigtail that I can put on there that lets me plug it into a regular 110 outlet or uh, another one that lets me plug it into a 50 amp outlet. Here's what I've done though. I have totally disconnected this. This connection right here does absolutely nothing on the trailer. Inside the trailer, uh, this actually has orange uh, 10 gauge 30 amp Romex going to it. I literally cut that Romex in half, put in a junction box, and attached 10-3 SOOM stranded wire to it, right behind this wall. And then I brought that stranded wire down under the trailer. This is it coming out right here. I made a little hole there for it. I put wire loom on it. And then I ran it up through here. And basically I moved the connection port. So I have the wire loom going along here. And this is just on my the, the front hitch. And then on the end of that, I put the same L630 plug that I had on the side of the trailer. So I can literally take this connection, put that on there, and I can go ahead and char and plug in the trailer whenever I am at a campsite or whatever. And everything works exactly the way that it should. If I need 110, I can just put the, the 110 converter on the end of that. Uh, if I have 50 amp, I can put the converter on there. And that just plugs in here on the hitch instead of plugging in right there but that is just the conversion that I made to the trailer now let's look at what I actually did with the power boost if you're not familiar with the power boost uh, the power boost in the, the back corner of the bed has connection here and you've got a couple of 110s that you can use but you've also got this 30 amp 240 volt connection and it's using a, a generator connection right here um, so you can get the, the full uh, 240 volts out of it and that uh, connection is the L1430P and what I did is I ran a cable and this cable is 104 SOOM. I put an end on it. This is an L1430P end. It's the same generator in. This is what you use for a 30 amp, 240 volt generator. And this will actually plug into there. I can put it on there like so, and that will plug in. And then I ran this new cable, this 10430 SOM, down through the hole that already existed in the bed. And if we go down underneath and look, cobwebs. This right here is where the line comes down and I have it going in behind the bumper mount and I have it zip tied up there and then I have the same L1430C uh, end on it right here. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to 
it allows me to actually use the generator port on the truck with the, the tailgate completely closed and with the tonneau cover closed so that I don't have to have anything open to this area and I can still get power from it. So that's what this plug, or that's what this entire wire is for. Then the magic happens because I made this cable. And what this cable is, on this end we have an L1430P connection. That plugs into the truck right over there. Then I have 103 SOOM, this is stranded, going to the other end. And this end is an L630. And the L630 plugs in right here. That completes the connection. So that's how I get everything wired up the way that it needs to be wired up. So we have this that plugs into the truck. That connects down here, which goes to that end. And then this connects to this. So I will go ahead and wire that up so that you can see what that looks like. Okay. So now you can see that we have that plugged in. If we look underneath, we've got that connected to that, which is then connected to that, and that, again, that then goes into the trailer. So, like I had mentioned before, well, I can't close that just right now, but like I mentioned before, though, this can close up entirely, and that will not even be visible. So then whenever we get in the truck, that actually test all of this. And we fire everything up. We can see that we're told that something is plugged into the outlet in the truck bed, supply power to the outlet. Yes. In generator mode, your engine will continue to supply power to the outlet. Use only vehicle outside. Then if we go to features, Pro power on board. You can see that right now it's showing we're using that. And it'll jump up to around 2700 watts or so. The, the truck just turned on. Um, so if we, we turn the air conditioning off briefly, you can see it's going to sit there. Um, my understanding is that this will use about a gallon of gas every hour if you're setting at your campsite. So if you had the tank full, you could go over a day. Um, but basically what I have it doing right now, the reason that we're pulling that many watts is that I'm actually uh, charging the battery. And we would probably be pulling a few more, but my solar is also providing some power to the, to the battery on the, the camper. Uh, but, but this is charging the, the, the trailer battery, the camper battery right now. And you can see that because we're at 30 amps at 120 volt, the other half is completely unused. So if you needed to use the truck to do something else with, you could plug it into the, to the B circuit and you would still be able to, to use that as well. Uh, but uh, that shows it working. Um, it does a great job. You can go down the road like this. Um, I have 10 kilowatt hours of battery on the trailer, uh, 800 amp hours at 12 volts, and basically I could uh, take that from zero to full in uh, two and a half hours, give or take a little bit, and that is good enough for me. So basically with a truck like this, uh, you have unlimited power for your camper. Hope that uh, you found this helpful, and I will leave links in the description below to all of the various parts that I used.